Hey guys, it's Gary, and this is a headline I certainly do not like sharing with everybody. But yes, yesterday, or this week rather, an Aiken real estate agent was sexually assaulted showing a home. And that leads right into what we're going to talk about this month on my podcast, Dish and Dirt, which is Agent Safety Month. September is Agent Safety Month for a good reason, because we all need to be practicing absolute safety out there. It is something we need to be looking at, not just on a monthly basis, but a yearly basis. It's job number one for real estate agents is protecting yourself first. So this month, we're going to spend a lot of time on Dish and Dirt talking about agent safety. This week, we have Brad Amick. Uh, he's with Carolina Tactical Solutions. He's spoken at CCRA. He's going to be at the South Carolina Realtors Association Year Conference. Um, he is going to talk about things you need to think of before you even get in that situation. As he stated uh, the other day when I was talking to him about this, uh, you need to have a plan before you need to be in action. And that's what we need to talk about is what we need to start thinking about as agents, about prep, preparing for meeting with clients, not just showing up and not having a game plan, not knowing the house, not knowing the area, not knowing a thing about our clients. So he's going to really spend a lot of time today on our podcast talking about that. And he's also going to talk about this Aiken attack as well. Now, I'm also trying to get Doyle Yates in uh, for a podcast this month. Doyle is a Arkansas real estate commissioner, and he's going to talk about the Beverly Carter case. This is where Beverly was kidnapped and uh, murdered uh, and left in a shallow grave in Arkansas. And it's a horrific story, but he's going to talk about that and some things that the Arkansas Real Estate Commission has done to protect agents. I think they've come up with some outstanding ideas, things that I think that the Real Estate Commission here is going to look at, I hope. Um, and then I'm also trying to get uh, a company uh, salesperson to come on and talk about a, an app that actually might be available, uh, that is available to you. you can, it's very inexpensive uh, that would help you do some background check information that's very similar to what a private investigator can do before you even meet with your clients. Very inexpensive and it's just a simple name search and it tells you everything you need to know. So we're trying to get forewarned to come on the show as well. So a lot of good things I'm trying to line up for you all this month about agent safety. Uh, please don't skip over and go, oh, well, this isn't about marketing or growing my business or something legal I need to know. This is job number one, which is protecting yourself. And so I hope you'll listen. I don't 